<laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye, Taylor. Does she need me to do anything else with you? Good evening, family and friends. We are now about to start order of ceremony. We will start now with the processional of graduates. Now coming to the podium for welcome remarks, our president, April Fibonacci.
Are you ready? Of learning 
innovation, and growth. Their commitment to our success will forever be etched in our hearts. So let's give them a round of applause. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, let us embrace the opportunities that we leave that before us with open minds and hearts. Let us be unafraid to take risks, to chase our aspirations, and to make a positive impact in our chosen future. We possess the power to shape industry, to contribute to our community, and to build a future that is marked by progress and compassion. Remember, our time at Lincoln Center has not only prepared us for a career, it has empowered us to make a difference. Whether we choose to enter the automotive, healthcare, electrical, or any other industry, let us always strive to be the best person of ourselves. Let us lead with integrity, empathy, and commitment to lifelong learning. In closing, my fellow graduates, let us celebrate this remarkable achievement as a testament to our dedication, hard work, and unwavering belief in ourselves. We are equipped with the tools and knowledge to carve, our, to carve out our path in a world full of possibilities. Let us embrace this moment, stand tall, and march forward with conflict, knowing that we are the ambassadors of change, of change and pride. Congratulations, my fellow graduates of Lincoln Technical Institute. May your future be filled with boundless success, fulfillment, and endless opportunities. And may God
shop procedures and management with Mr. Carrillo. We heard he wasn't here today, I'm very upset. Um, and let's not forget Advanced Electric with oh, yeah. Mr. Hartley. Yeah. <laughs> All three of these instructors challenged me in a way I never thought I could be. Especially Mr. Hartley. <laughs> It's tough, man, but it was for a good reason. When I tell you, when I tell you, I was on that bus when my car was broke down, rushing into class. I'm not late, I'm not late. But I wasn't late, and I decided not to be late for a reason. I'm deviating a little bit. But I decided not to be late for a reason, because I understood that this man was pushing us as hard as he did for a reason. I see it every day at work. Now, uh, this is kind of stuff, but the skills that I learned at Lincoln Tech has motivated me to pursue ASC certification and has got me where I am today. Because I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. I cur I'm currently employed at Mavis Discount Tire, and I have been during my time at Lincoln Tech. Because of what I learned here, I went from a street mechanic to a tire tech from simple oil, oil changes, rotations, and tire replacement. Very simple. Um, upon course completion, I skipped two positions, alignment tech and, and mechanic, and went straight into assistant manager.
and she's an instructor. So, and, excuse me, she's an instructor, comma, and she also spearheaded this event tonight. <laughs> so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Alicia Jones. So before we get started with awards and presentations, I would like to take this time to thank all of our faculty. We have some of the best instructors in the industry. I believe that each of us has a vocation, a calling, a purpose, some gift that we are meant to offer to existence. We are so fortunate here at Lincoln Tech Philly that our instructors get to share this special gift with our students every day. Not only do they provide training, but support, guidance, and inspiration that helps equip our students to be the best technicians in the industry. As an instructor myself, I know the difficulties and challenges that we face daily, but we overcome them by priding ourselves in providing superior education and training to our students. Some instructors cannot be here with us this evening because they are in class, but we all should be proud because we are making a difference. You are appreciated. Can we all stand and give our faculty a round of applause for all they do? Thank you, guys. Technology program. This recipient graduated with a 3.98 GPA and over 97% average in attendance. That is extremely outstanding and we are very proud of your achievements. Our 2023 Valor is Oscar Lopez Rivera. to their own success. The 2023 Instructor Recipient Award goes to Ray Hall and Kyrie McCutcheon.
They'll want me to give out the yes, yeah, switch for me. Yep, thank you. <laughs> we would like to also acknowledge our veterans who are wearing the red, white, and blue cords. Robert Agado, Agado. <laughs> Listen, uh, Chris Samasucci. Um, Christopher Yor, Joe Rice, and Colleen Bradley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of y'all didn't stand. Thank you anyway for your time and your service to our country. We will also like to recognize all of our students who earned an associate's degree in specialized technology and automotive service management. They all have white cords. Robert again, Alexander Gausen, and Tim Pratt. It was an honor to be all. who earned a GPA of 3.5 or higher. They all have bold cords. It's too many names to call, but you can all stand, please. Congratulations on all your hard work and dedication. Thank you and congratulations to all the recipients. Guess what? It's 
time now to get what you came here to get. All right. I have instructions. I have directions. I've been, I've been given my orders. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask all the graduates to rise.
Nico Thomas. Yeah, Nico! Axel Rosario. Rafael Reyes. Yeah, Rafael! Michaela Jones. Musa Kamala. Nike Elder. Asad. Rahan. <laughs> Marvin Wasan. I know that's right. <laughs> Leslie Smith. <laughs> Michael Devlin. Devin Ward. Yeah, That's my guy. Carlos Bahamante Jr. Justin Payton. Jamal Johnson. Jamali Foster. Kareem Brantley. Push yourself to reach your goals 
and live the life you once dreamed. Trust your instincts. Be true to yourself. You know what is right for you. Never give up or give in. Forget the words, I don't know how, because you can learn, you can research, you can do. Your mind is powerful. When you believe, you can. You will find a way. You won't waste a day. Persist and persevere. Do not fear. Because if you believe in you, you will find dreams can come true. May all your dreams turn into goals. Believe in yourself and remember, all of life is a choice. The decision is up to you. Believe in yourself. Dare to be whatever you want to be. Congratulations.